we are gonna look at uh, live data so uh, first of all why live data why do we use live data uh, we have a lot of uh, other libraries but instead we are using live data just to uh, render the view so uh, le let's suppose uh, uh, you are playing a game and for example you have a score your score is 100 and that is not uh, being updated again and again so uh, what do you feel uh, it will uh, give you a feeling like that uh, the game might not be working or something is uh, something's wrong on the server side or whatever you you, you will feel uh, that there is any fault uh, due to which the uh, score is not being uh, upgrading so in our application uh, the, the applications we develop uh, sometimes it happens that uh, uh, the text uh, uh, don't update so uh, to counter those scenarios uh, android released live data so we use live data uh, it's it's name it's itself telling us live data the job of live data uh, is to provide us up to date data uh, either we uh, we are getting that data through any logic or from server uh, it constantly observe uh, either the data is being changed or not uh, so uh, let's uh, look at the code how to implement it first of all uh, just like uh, the previous lecture we will create a class a view model main activity vm it will extend view model let's suppose uh, we are incrementing a variable so that variable will be well str of type mutable live data uh, so guys keep in mind that we have two types of live data mutable and immutable uh, mutable or the simple mutable can be changed but uh, immutable or the simple or just live data uh, is the data that uh, cannot be changed once it uh, initialized so we are using mutable mutable live data of type integer so I'm writing a method here, a function here, fun, it uh, will add and it will accept a variable named initial of type integer and what I'm gonna do in this function, I will update this value. So I will say str dot value is equals to initial that I'm getting dot plus one now let's move to our main activity to create an instance of our view model private let in it where vm of main activity vm now vm is equals to view model provider this is the parent and main activity vm colon colon class dot java here we have created instance of our view model now i am saying binding dot btn float here i have defined a button this is the UI on this button, it will increment this variable. So, BT and float on the click of this button dot set on click. What I'm gonna say, I will say that pass the text of this uh, of this of our, of our text view to our view model. How pm dot add what we have to uh, give binding dot 
txt hello dot text dot to string dot to int to int we have given uh, for uh, we have given we have passed one here because we have defined one as our initial value we are not updating we just have uh, provided uh, as parameter now we have to observe our variable so how to do that vm dot str dot observe this is the lifecycle owner comma control space now binding dot txt hello dot text is equals to it dot to string that's it now let's run our code and check if it's working or not that's it uh, if you have any query you can ask in the comment section if you like the video you can hit the like button thank you